Once again, Ron is organizing a dinner dance titled Wheels for Wheels at the Grand on the 6th of May. To talk about that event is with great pleasure. I'd like to introduce Ron in our studios this morning. Good morning and welcome to our program. Good morning, Derek. Uh, Ron, first of all, now last year you did this event uh, and I, I heard many very, very good comments. Will you be able to tell our viewers how the event went and how much money you all raised? Yes, the event went fantastic because uh, we had some really good sponsors on the day and there was about 350 people attending. We raised close upon $40,000. See, that's uh, a lot of money. That's yes, a lot of money. Yes, we, we managed to give about uh, 250 wheelchairs uh, to Colombo mm -hmm. uh, for the much needy cerebral palsy um, patients. And also, uh, we contributed about $17,000 for CPEC here in Australia. Um, because most of the charities that is being done, uh, they neglect uh, Australians yeah. and, and because they think that this um, there is enough of money. Yeah. But um, when speaking to CPEC, yeah. it's grossly underf uh, underfunded, Fine. Un okay. unfortunately. Uh, so they are the world leaders yeah. uh, when it comes to CP education. So that's why um, when I went to the center, I thought we must do something for this center because a lot of countries gets information and help other CP patients right around the world yeah. through their uh, programs. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I thought I'll do it this year as well. It's a quite a big task, Ron. I mean, all those things what you're doing. Now, last year I also heard, you know, the one of the main reasons the event went extremely well. You had some very good music acts and whatnot. Now, this year, what's the surprise you're going to give uh, the people who are attending your event? Yes, last year, um, this uh, we had the uh, the boys from X Factor and um, and Carmen came from the boys, and that was a surprise. Uh, so this year, I thought I must do something different, uh, mm. and I'm getting down for after 11 years, Wildfire. Oh, so yeah. the, actually, I've been speaking to Wildfire for the past uh, three years, and the boys said, okay, they'll come in for one gig. Yeah. Um, to Melbourne and do this, but uh, subsequently they have formed the band back again and they are playing in um, Colombo very successfully. So uh, Melbourne and Sydney will see Wildfire back again after 11 years. That's one of the top bands there on. Uh, That's right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been following them in uh, Sri Lanka. Has got, got uh, just a handful of good bands. Yes. And uh, for this, for the people who are attending your event, it's be a good chance to come and listen to that band. And who else have you got? I have got Rhapsody. Okay. Um, uh, this, um, so because I wanted Wildfire to do a sort of a small yeah. show, yeah. right, in their true rock element. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, Rhapsody is one of the best dance bands yeah. uh, going around. Yeah. So I got them to, to complement it. Yeah. And it's going to be a good night. There will be about 360 people. Okay. Mostly it will be... Um, uh, corporate clients yeah. uh, of mine. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we'll have a fantastic night. Ron, this event you're organizing, it's a very expensive event, you know, getting bands from overseas. Have you got sponsors helping you out? Uh, Peter from Better Home Living came in as the principal sponsor and that was a huge boost for me. Yeah. So around that, uh, there was um, IGA, Mass uh, from Oman, uh, NCW, Pickstar, AIG Security, and Australian Strategic Partnerships. They put their hand up, and uh, of course, my company, Winfield, is sponsoring the band so that there won't be any uh, cost on well, that day uh, yeah. for the charity. Um, based on this, we are hoping to have about $40,000 uh, once again. Well, that's brilliant, Ron. Uh, as, uh, as you said before, your last year when you raised so much. And also, the one of the reasons the sponsors came into this is because, you know, you're a person who, who wants to do something and you've done it and proved and you're helping the motherland and Australia. So keep that date free. That's the 6th of May at the Grand. And as I said, Wheels for Wheels and Ron has done a, such a great job uh, last year. And uh, we wish him all the very best and be there on the 6th to also listen to the band Wildfire.